Hey guys, it's April. I first want to apologize that I'm not going to be able to go live tonight because I have tons of stuff going on here at the house. Um, but this is Wednesday and this is my one-time Kofi supporter as well as my monthly Patreon and Kofi file. And we're doing a little barbecue box or apron box, whatever you want to call it. I've done mine up for a little barbecue party. Um, this will work for 4th of July picnics, all sorts of stuff. Even Mother's Day, if you want to do a floral type pattern and, and make the apron part out of that. Uh, tons of things you can do with this little gift box. And it will hold um, probably small candles, some hand sanitizer, some soaps, tons of stuff. It ends up being about right at three and three-eighths inch wide and it is an inch and five-eighths deep. If you're going to be putting like a candle, something heavy in it, I'm going to suggest you use a 110 cardstock. That's what I did on my test here. And you know, use whatever you want. I set these up again for barbecue. I've got well done on one, and we're going to do barbecue on this one. I've done utensils. You can put flowers in the pocket, just all sorts of stuff. Um, anything you want to do. It's really cute, quick, and simple. You're going to need a couple of pieces of ribbon or trim. I'm using this like silk, it's almost like a tubular like trim. I didn't have any black or white, so I'm just going to use navy blue on this one, but I used a red on this one. And guys, if you don't have red and white paper, I printed this. All you need to do is look up uh, plaid design bundles. There's a link down below, I believe. Um, you can go to design bundles and download. There's a navy and I want to say red and navy or navy and red uh, file. Just search red plaid. You'll find it. They have lots of different ones and you can do that. This is a paper that I had that was black and white so I just thought I'd try one out of that. So you're just going to fold on all your score lines and I want my small checks to the outside on this so pay attention to that too. You may on your patterns your you may want to print your paper prior because this is an 11 and a half and our print cut area is limited to six cent seven five by nine two five so you can't print it from design space but you can print your 12 by 12 paper if you have a printer that will do large format printing you can print your 12 by 12 sheet or eight and a half by 12 maybe if your printer will do that some of them will do up to 15 inches and you're just going to fold it on its score lines just like so and the I have a score line here on the front and that is you don't fold that that is just to help you align your pocket and then you can use your tearing tapes or art glitter glues whatever it is that you want to use I like art glitter because I, I've been working and I forgot to close it I'm notorious for that um, you can use your art glitter glue to glue those tabs and you're just going to glue those to the inside keeping your box square My stripes almost lined up, didn't they? You can just give it a little press on the inside. You just want to keep it good and square on the edge. And you're going to do the same on this side. And I do want to, before I forget, I did put the score lines on both sides. So if you wanted to do a pocket on the front and the back, you could. Um, you can see the little score lines if you don't put a pocket on the front and the back. So before you, if you're not going to do a pocket on the back side, detach and remove those score lines in the file because they are set up to do a pocket on the front and the back. That way if you want to do them for table tents, uh, for a party, or maybe you're having a 
barbecue themed wedding or something like that once this once our shelter in place is over and things like that then that would be really really cute for your party favor for a wedding for a country themed wedding or a barbecue wedding super cute or birthday parties even and that way you can put their name on the front and maybe happy birthday on the back something like that that way it dresses up the table but regardless it doesn't matter on mine which one's front and back because I did set it up for a pocket on both and I forgot to detach mine and I was only doing one pocket for the and I've got to I will fix the file you won't have to trim this piece I just got it off a little bit so I'm gonna fix the file before you get it so that your pocket will lay flat We're just going to put a glue on those three tabs and then we're just going to line it up on those score lines and that's going to help you keep it centered and straight and if you're doing a plaid your plaids will also help you keep it straight just gives a little dimension I'm just going to stick my hand inside and hold it down while it glues A little bit of glue on there. Don't do it like me and get glue on it. Let's see. Oh, I don't have my glue remover there. It's okay. I'll get it off here in a little bit. And then I lost my little, there it is. Then I'm going to take my little barbecue and decide how I want it on there. I don't want it on there exactly straight. That looks cute. Just gonna put a little glue on there. Now I did leave the barbecues in there. Of course you can switch those out for happy birthdays or whatever you want to do. Just size it to fit on your pocket. Just gonna push it down from inside. And then we have our little fork and spoon. And I cut this out of Cricut. Um, foil poster board or foil craft board either one will work I think this was the foil craft board that's what it was foil craft board and I'm going to be using some glue dots for that just because it's super easy and simple and I won't get glue all over them and make them not shine I'm just gonna these are my mini glue dots and I'm just putting a dot on the handle and a dot on the spoon portion and I'm just going to tuck it in oh I don't want it to stick yet and decide where I want it to be kind of like it just like that so now I'm going to press that down and we're going to do the same thing with the fork. This is a really quick and easy party favor box, guys. I'm just putting one on there, and then I'm going to put one right there before the tines of the fork. Because I don't want that sticky to come through on the tines. And you're just going to slip that one in there to where you want it. I want it to be a little taller. How cute is that? And then I'm just going to take... And again, I made these about, they're like eight and a quarter inches long, but you're going to trim some off. And I'm just going to tie a knot in one end and get it close to the end. And I don't want that much hanging off, so I'm just going to snip it off. And then we're just going to run it through from the inside. And then we're going to run it back through on this side. And then I'm just going to tie another little knot on that end. So if I get it closer to the end this time. And then that's going to give us our little loop. And then we're going to do the same on the other. Now you want to make sure that your ties are even and you notice that I just tied them to the end and then trimmed off what I 
how much I didn't want sticking out. And I'm going to show you how I... With this trim, it's a little bit easier. It may be a little trickier with your other ribbons. I'm just going to run it back through. And I'm going to tie my knot. And before I tighten it down all the way, I'm just going to bring my loops up, make sure that they're even, that they have the same amount of tension on them, and then I know that's where my knot needs to be. And if it's off just a tiny center, you can, uh, just a tiny bit, you can, like that one, this one is taller because I'm getting tension on it and no tension on the other. So I'm just going to loosen it up. and slide it down. Again, some ribbons are going to be easier to do that with than others. And that feels better. So you just want to make sure that they're pretty even. You don't want one a half inch longer than the other. And I'm just going to trim that off. And we're done. Now you can stick your little tissue paper in there and put your little gift in there. How cute is that? I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will catch you on Friday on Facebook for Freebie Friday file. Um.